thought our kids battled hard today, tonight. I um, thought the defense battled hard. I uh, thought we were out of sync on offense. Um, you know, uh, I thought EJ Perry showed a lot of guts. The stage wasn't too big for him. Um, you know, obviously, he's not getting very many reps in practice during the week, and this is a tough game to break in, in, in into the situation like that. But uh, I thought he made some plays in there. Um, I thought we made some plays in special teams. I thought uh, the one punt return killed us. Um, but in the fourth quarter, it was 20 to seven without our starting quarterback. And I thought that was a, a really sign of a great effort and fight out of our team. You certainly, uh, you, know, you certainly don't want to play the likes of Clemson and lose your starting quarterback in the beginning of the game. But uh, that's football. And uh, I thought our kids battled. And, um, you know, thought Mike Walker's punt return was, was, was fantastic. Real smart play because the ball had been touched by them. Um, penalties uh, hurt us in this game early, especially. We had a lot of penalties. Got us off, got us off schedule. We were behind the sticks with the penalties. Between the penalties and the snaps, um, really cost us a lot of offense and cost us a lot of field position and cost us a lot of being off schedule. Can't do that against that kind of defense. And that, that, that happened. And that happened on, 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 on EJ, the young player coming into the game. wasn't his fault. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's rough on a, on a veteran, never mind a young guy. So that was unnecessary. And uh, that became an issue for us. So um, we've got a tough group of guys. We've got a talented group of guys. We've got dealt a tough blow today um, and still managed it with a lot of energy and a lot of passion. There was enough energy and passion in that field to have a chance to win that football game. Um, and, uh, and I'm proud of that. We'll gather back up and, and get ready to go down to Tallahassee. Any questions? This is an obvious one you touched on already, but how much does AB going down change the complexion of that game, what you want to do, and then you got to throw in? Well, and also going forward, what's his status? I have no idea. He's in the hospital, so I can't answer that. Um, um, I mean, listen. You know, we're a pretty explosive offense, and I think it spoke for itself what happened. Um, and we've got to do a better job overcoming that. But the fact of the matter is we're breaking in, you know, another young guy, just getting really his, his first real teeth wet snaps against the number two team in the country. Um, that's, that's a tall order. Um, and, he'll, and he's going to grow from that experience. Um, you know, we started, they started really loading the box and really started playing, you know, what we call zero hole in the coverage. And that's why the safeties were filling so fast. You know, you had, you had to be able to really get the ball down the field. And, and we did try at times to do that. But, you know, that's where the practice reps come into play, you know. And, and it's hard to get, you know, two people ready to play in a game. So, you know, your, the bulk of your reps are going to your, your starting player. And, and where that shows up sometimes the most is in the throw game. Um, and having said that, I thought EJ made some great throws in that game. Um, confident, ripped it a few times in there. Good. You could see the strength of his arm, and you can see all that. But in fairness, you know, they're playing some two-trap coverage and does not have a lot of reps against that kind of coverage. And, uh, you know, it was a factor. And we were trying to be judicious with, with it, you know. But it, towards the end, it was just getting too hard to do that, you know, because you know, it was essentially creating nine-man fronts for us. I mean, they're good enough, never mind with the extra, you know, one or two extra hats down there. That's why the, that's why the run game was struggling to, to get going. We needed to challenge that back end more. And, uh, you're, you know, you're caught between that and having a young guy in there. And, you know, you're playing good on defense. You're trying to manage that thing and, and, and be careful not to, you know, lose the confidence of a young quarterback in there on top of everything else. So it gets to be a, a management issue. Um, and, you know, that's where it was. At 13-7 uh, to 7 at halftime, Steve, yeah. and the way your defense was playing, yeah. 
um, especially at the end of the first half when you hold them to no points on that final drive. Right. Are you going into halftime thinking this def our defense is good enough, maybe create a turnover and yeah. get a short field? Is that kind of what you're thinking was? Yeah. I mean, we tried to get in at halftime and, and kind of re just reestablish what we felt we could do confidently in the second half, you know, not just get reckless out there and just give the game away. And, uh, you know, but we wanted to stay aggressive. And, um, you know, we came back out and ran a couple specials and did a couple things. But, it, you know, I mean, we felt at that point like, okay, we're, 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 in, we're in pretty good shape here. I mean, given the obvious, you know, crisis that sort of happened to us before we ever had a chance to get going. But uh, we still felt like, you know, we could get, get ourselves back under control. And, I, you know, I felt good about that. You know, um, when we uh, came out in the second half, we had the ball. And I think we had an opportunity for a first down there. We fell short of the first down. And then they got the ball and they scored. That's what widened that gap and made it a 20 to 7 game and kind of, you know, kind of hung in there. Um, I, I thought that it was important for us to open up the second half and have a good drive and get some points on the board. And I thought we had a chance to do that, you know, and, 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 and we didn't get that done in that drive. You know, I think A.J. popped out down the left side and I thought for sure we had a first down there. Came up short there, then we ran a short yardage play and they ran a pressure and, you know, again, I thought we'd still have that and we didn't get that. And, and, and then they scored. Um, you know, and, and that, that that's probably, you know, the that was probably, a, you know, looking back, a, a, a bit of a turning point right there, you know, because um, if we could have, you know, I thought we could even that score out and then have a chance to drag him into the fourth quarter more evened out. I think we got him into the fourth quarter at 20 to 7, but with our struggles on offense, you know, that concerned me, you know, it, was just, it just concerned me. I mean, you're talking about, the most dominant defense just about in the country and we're and we're you know we're trying to adjust on the run now you know it's not exactly favorable yeah. from game day being here to you're without your starting quarterback almost the whole game and your defense still yeah. is able to keep it a two score game against the number two team in the country yeah. for most of the night right. what do you think the message sent to recruits was today well, I don't you know, I mean, uh, I think the message to our team was that, as I said to our team, I said, we <clears throat> showed tremendous toughness and battle and uh, as, a, as a team with grit. And, uh, and I, think, I, mean, I think anybody watching that game could see that and could see that how hard we played on defense, how hard we played in special teams, and how hard we were playing on offense. And, 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 and just trying to, I mean, you know, we didn't just fall off the pickle, but we've been pretty, like I said, pretty explosive offensively all year long. But we had a, got dealt a tough blow, and we're trying to adjust to it amongst this, in this environment. So I think that was plain to see. Uh, anybody watching that game, I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist to see all that. Um, I would have liked to have seen us in the second half put together a couple of drives that would have been more sustained. But again, with some of the snaps and some of the penalties, it just was, you know, it's too hard against that team to keep anything going that way. So I think whoever watched that game could see that. Um, you know, I mean, you know, be just like, you know, you wouldn't want to be them losing their starting quarterback either. I mean, you know, uh, this is you know, year two at that, you know. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Anthony will, will be fine and, uh, and hopefully that EJ gathered, you know, some real tough competitive game experience in a game like this. Because he certainly has a bunch of ability now. He has a bunch of ability and he can throw it. He just needs now to be able to soak in to reps. I'm telling you, that's a big piece of this. You know, it's, it's a big piece because you can't get two guys ready to go, you know. And, you know, it's not fair to a young guy just doesn't have – a bunch of reps during a week in practice to feel and see all those different coverages um, that are being played and operate. So he'll 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 he, he's sharp and tough, and he'll pick that up. And uh, you know, really, I think he's a super talented guy. So I think he'll have an, you know this game and another week under his belt, and we'll see where Anthony is. I mean, you know, I just I just don't have any idea where we are with that right now.
Just uh, Dylan kind of hobbled off the field late yeah. in the game. How's he doing? Is it yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> compound your problems here. You know, he, he got tweaked up early, and he, I tell you, that kid is that kid is battling. You know, he's got a he's got a rough injury that's not going anywhere until maybe you get to a bowl game, um, and you know, it's just really hobbled him. You know, and uh, you know, I thought towards the end of the week he was starting to you know get better and feel better, but I mean, you know, I'm not going to say it out there, but he's he's nowhere near 100 <laughs> percent. He's just not. You know, and that's obvious. Um, but he's tough and he's battling and he keeps fighting back each week. And, uh, you know, give him a lot of, you know, a lot of credit. Uh, admire what he's, what he's battling with. And he'll battle it back this week. But with these, these kind of injuries that he has, you know, they get retweaked. And it kinda go, you kind of go back a few days and you try to make it back up. And then you're back a few days. And... It's just the way it's going to be until, like I said, we can get some sustained time off his legs and get through it, which some people say bowl game, some people say probably not even until after that. It's just, you know, it's a tough injury for a running back, maybe one of the worst, especially his style. It's too quick, but I know we were talking about the juice and how you guys just wanted to treat it like a game, but when you come into this atmosphere and then, like, you lose an A-B or whatever um, and you have to scramble, does it feel almost like, I don't want to say like an opportunity to showcase the team was kind of stolen because you didn't have your, your, your entire complement of weapons. But does it feel almost like, you know, we didn't get the, a chance to show who we, act, who we are completely without our quarterback? You know I mean? Well, I, I just, you know, listen, I'm, I'm ecstatic about how our defense played. I, I'm just, um, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm proud of our guys. Um, you know, you just, you know, hey, it, 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 we're not going to have a pity party here. It is what it is. Um, I'm excited about EJ Perry coming in and, and, and the stage not too big for him, to be honest with you. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to watch some of the throws that he ripped off in that game. Um, it's our job now to get him the reps that he needs, especially in the throw game, so that we're not going to play against zero hole and nine man boxes. That's something we've gotten away from this year. And all of a sudden now we're back into that, you know? So, um, but he's, he's got enough arm talent, you'll see. Uh, that he'll be able to get that ball down the field now, and he's and he's and he's got courage in that pocket too. So it's just, you know, just gonna need a little week here to, to to you know to get back. He had a ton of reps in training camp, you know, and but since training camp, you know, he's just had a ton of reps, and um, so he's gonna have an opportunity. I'm, I'm guessing to get a ton of reps and, um, and 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 grow and develop. I guess the answer to your question directly is, yeah. I mean. In a game like this, on a stage like this, you'd like to feel like you got your full complement, you know? But that didn't happen, and that's life. So I'm more concerned now about getting ready for Florida State and getting ourselves back, you know, back in the groove, if you will, you know? Um, that's, that's my focus right now, and, you know, just dealing with where Anthony's going to be or not be, where AJ's going to be or not be, and kind of getting, you know, kind of getting rebid into exactly, you know, we have, we, we've developed a style. And now I got to see if we can still hang in with that style and be, and be effective the way that we want to be, you know, going into week 11. So, you know, that's what we got to work on right now.